Let's meet our guests for the night who they're spread out right across the nation from Washington, D.C., Trump 2020 campaign senior legal advisor Jenna Ellis, from Arizona, former Trump senior economic advisor Stephen Moore, from New York, Fox News contributor Lisa Booth, and from Florida, where else, Congressman Matt Gates. Matt Gates, I um, want to start with you. I'd love you to give us your assessment of the general situation, but also your personal situation. I know a lot of people will be interested in that. Well, I'm out of quarantine and with no symptoms. What your monologue highlighted is that America has had the best response to coronavirus in the world. President Trump's national emergency declaration has mobilized an impressive response. We are deploying test assets now by the tens of thousands. We are able to position ventilators close to vulnerable populations. And in the state of Florida, this declaration has given us the flexibility to evaluate opening up previously closed mm -hmm. down hospitals so that we're able to build out that capacity that you describe. Not every answer comes from Washington, D.C. I'm a Floridian. We sort of know about dealing with emergencies and disasters, and it's best done when it is locally executed, state coordinated, and federally supported. And that's what we see here with President Trump. And the reason it matters to us to, so much, Steve, is that we've all got boomers in our life that we love. We've gone from saying, OK, boomer, to are you OK, boomer, uh, because we want to make sure that uh, that those who might be a little older are cared for and protected in all the appropriate ways, absent the panic that you describe could potentially hurt the American worker. Nicely put, Congressman. I just want to come back to you with a quick point, which is um, uh, there's been a, some speculation today. A question was asked of Dr. Fauci about a potentially even more draconian step right across the country, a 14-day lockdown for everyone to really kind of squeeze this. I just wanted to get your sense of how far you think it's okay to go. Would, what, what's your reaction to that suggestion? Well, of course, I trust our public health officials, but so far, I think if people are able to be more mindful about washing hands, limiting large gatherings, we will have the tools to respond to this that Europe didn't. Look, Europe is borderless mm -hmm. and in a lot of ways unable uh, to manage the problem. In China, they lied to their own people. And so I, I don't know that here in our country, we're going to need like massive lockdowns of the entire civilian population. Let's do what you described in the monologue. Let's focus on and care for vulnerable populations and do everything we, we can to limit the spread of the virus. All right, so Matt, what, what do you make of what uh, went down in Congress? Well, you're absolutely right, Steve, that America remains the hottest economy in the world, and thus we will continue to see, I think, economic growth over the long haul, even if there is a temporary blip. But Steve, let me give you a preview of coming attractions. Every lobbyist in Washington right now is planning for the next big bailout push, whether it's the airline industry or the cruise industry. And I'm a Floridian. Tourism makes up a substantial portion of my state's economy. So this may be bad politics, mm -hmm. but it reflects my principles. We do not need a massive corporate bailout as a consequence of this virus. We should be thinking about the workers. You have done that in, uh, I think, several weeks on this show. But if we are mm -hmm. left to our own devices, there will be a push in Washington to bail out the big banks and the corporate interests and leave regular folks behind. And we have to fight against that. Well, Matt Gates, what do you think? I think we need to know who's responsible for this and there needs to be some accountability. You have highlighted what is a problem in Washington throughout the enterprise of government. People inside the Beltway always want to draw more power to Washington. President Trump's natural inst instinct is to unlock the potential of our country to solve problems, which is why at the very beginning, when there was a logjam at the CDC, it was President Trump who mm. overruled whatever bureaucrat it was to say, no, we need state-based labs authorized for testing immediately. That allowed us mm. to be able to bend down this curve of potential increase in exposure to the virus. And so again, whether it's the economy or or uh, the environment or any other issue, the president's instinct is to democratize power across the country. Just uh, moments ago in the debate, you had Joe Biden saying, well, he would do more to federalize the response. He would try to seize more control inside yeah. Washington, D.C., but, but leveraging our partnerships is far more effective strategy. Welcome back, Matt Gates. You have just done, some, done something really great on campaign finance, and I want you to tell us what it is and why it matters. Washington is a very corrupt place, and I am the only Republican returning to Congress who is refusing to take any donations from federal political action committees. 
the federal PAC donation process, which exchanges money for access and favors, renders mm -hmm. public service what should be the noblest of professions dangerously close to the oldest profession. We should not be turning tricks for Washington PACs, and I'm done picking up their money in the nightstand. So these PACs, so we, PAC stands for political action committees. So are these kind of business organizations, lobbying groups, what, what does it really mean that you're not taking the, these, these kinds of donations yeah. anymore? Uh, regularly, members of Congress come together and accept checks from corporations that pool the money of their employees with the specific interest of putting their goals over the interests of the American people. We should not have health mm -hmm. insurance companies writing our health care bills, polluters setting our environmental mm -hmm. standards, or big tech defining debate in this country, but they buy off Congress and they're able to do so. And the PAC process is what facilitates the exchange of favors for money. And it is beneath the dignity of the United States Congress, in my view. This is, I mean, honestly, I think this is so great. It's so important. Um, goes to the heart of, of not just the drain, the swamp agenda that the president has um, been, it's such a big part of his um, argument, but also of the corruption that's at the heart of the system that drives people crazy. What, it, what kind of reaction have you had? Well, uh, I don't get invited to the Washington PAC Christmas parties anymore, but frankly, they're not <laughs> who I work for. My only special interest is the American people and our loyalty to America and the America First agenda is our independence from special interest. And President Trump began that movement when he came down that escalator and said the mm -hmm. people of this country are first and we're not going to allow a corrupt Washington to sell out the American people on behalf of K Street and the lobbyists and the special interests. We're better than that as a country, and President Trump has paved the way for more of us to follow his lead in putting the people of this great country first. Well, good for you, and I hope more people in Congress follow your lead. Matt Gates, it's really amazing. Like, the, the establishment all thought, you know, they all say, oh, we're so relieved. we got Joe Biden. There's this huge sort of coming together. They're now stuck with him. They're stuck with this guy. Joe Biden's responses often sound like someone threw scissors at a dictionary and just pasted the words that came out randomly on a page and asked him <laughs> to read them. Say what you will about Donald Trump, he is not a frail man. And Joe Biden's lack of awareness, his mental fragility will be issues in this campaign. I suspect the American people are going to pick the strong leader, Donald Trump.